The retail world as it used to be was primarily brick and mortar, almost all. And what happened is there came a point in time about 20 years ago where suddenly the number of shopping centers being built started to slow down. And what happened in retail was as companies who were traditional brick and mortar retailers started to look forward to their sales and staying in connection with their customer, online became important, but it became important for a different reason because the growth vehicle that they'd been using for the last 20 years was no longer ahead of them. And so what they had to do is they had to step back and look at it and say, okay, we're, we were used to opening 40 or 50 stores a year and they were all in new shopping centers. Those shopping centers aren't gonna be built now. At the same time, what was happening is companies like Amazon were starting up and they were starting to get some traction with online trading and the internet connectivity was starting to get more uh, available to homes. And although companies like Amazon were losing money right and left, it still was the only viable alternative to be looking at to continue growing and staying in touch with the customers you created over the previous 20 years um, as they sort of moved to a different type of format to do their shopping. If you went back about 10 or 15 years ago and you started looking at headlines, it was, oh, brick and mortar is dead. It's, it's headed for the graveyard, it's done. Well, that was never gonna be true. What happened is a correction. Right, so if you, if, you, if you look at the United States, there's about 24 square feet of retail for every person in the United States. If you look at Europe, it's about three square feet. If you close down half of all the retail in the United States, you'd still have four times as much as they have in Europe. So what's happened is a lot of the peripheral retail that shouldn't potentially have been built in the first place is closing down and that makes headlines.